Lady Susanto from Indonesia is the service judge. Very quiet in the arena at the moment. It will fill up as the day goes on. It is just approaching nine o'clock in the morning local time. So a very early start for these girls today, but badminton on all four courts throughout the day. So a busy day of action as we narrow the field down towards the finals. Quarterfinals will also be played today. So potentially a couple of matches for these girls. So it is best of three games. First two, 21 with a margin of two points. And on my left, Yo Jian Min, Singapore. Yo Jian Min from Singapore in the blue. Sonia Chi will serve first at the far end. The inside tram lines we're using today for the singles. That one out for Sonia Chia, so early point for Singapore. That's been a very good start for Yo Chi Min. Three love up already. That's the longest rally of the game so far, but the first point for Sonia Chia. Pushed wide by Yo. So back to three all. Sonia Chia finally getting a foothold in the game. It's a fairly simple smash winner for Sonia Chia, but another good rally. These girls have met once previously in Vietnam back in 2016. Sonia Chia came out winning on that occasion, 21-17, 21-12. It's the only time they've met in a BWF tournament. Just showed a superior quality there, seizing on the mistake by Yo.
Good winner again from Chia. Object really is to make your opponent move around the court as much as possible. Chia doing that slightly better than Yo Jim in at the moment. Couldn't quite get that one up and over from right in close to the net. Eighteen years of age, Yo Jiamin. It's been a really rapid rise up the rankings for her this year. She was 102 in the world in January. So they got as high as 44th last month. Won 25 of her 33 singles matches she's played so far this year. It's been a very, very good year for the Singaporean. Well, she can't get away at the moment, Sonia Chia. Just a point in it. Again, just a little bit of an experience there from Yo Jia Min just setting that one up at the net for simple winner really for Sonia Chia. Just making sure the racket didn't touch the net. Cleverly done. Realising that Singaporean was going to struggle to get into the net there, so just a little drop shot to win the point. Now a gap has opened up. 10-6 to Malaysia. Well judged. So Malaysia reached the halfway point of the first game with an 11-6 advantage. Sonia Chia herself has had a, a pretty good year in terms of results. Won more than 50% of her singles matches. Started the year down in the early 60s in the rankings. Reached her highest 23rd in March of this year. Played in the Russian Open Grand Prix recently before coming here to Kuala Lumpur. Beaten by Evgenia Kozietsuka. Malaysia targeting two gold medals from the individual competition. Morton Frost, their technical director, former British number one, now the technical director. Saying it's entirely possible.
So welcome point one by Yo. Yeah, nice little drop shot just forcing Cheer into the net. Couldn't get that one back up and over. That's a great smash just inside the line. Yo is looking at the line judge expecting an out call, but it was right on the line, I think. So 14-7 Malaysia lead. Yeah, just on the line. Still some work to do here for Singapore, trailing by seven. Once serves too long, that's an error from Yo, and not what she needed at this stage of the game. So she hands service immediately back to Chia. Five points needed for Malaysia to take the opening game. And a service error from the Malaysian as well. One or two unforced errors creeping into both players' games at the moment, which will be disappointing for both. So service changing hands with regularity at the moment. 18-10. Cheer from Malaysia leads. First game in the best of three match. Oh, it's well played by Yoke. Nice service return. Always setting herself up for a, a comfortable winner. Just that angle drop shot causing, forcing cheer into the net and leaving an open court for the Singaporean. Very deep serve again from Yo. That's oh, good play again. Yo wins the point to narrow the gap to six now. Smash onto the Chia backhand, which he couldn't get a racket under the shuttle to get it back over the net. So, serve still with Singapore, and they've won another point. 18 13.
is just out from Chia. And she's not having things her own way at the moment. You know, Gia Min is showing in flashes that she's certainly capable of competing with a higher ranked player. Pressure on the Malaysians to perform in front of the home crowd, of course. Chia takes a tumble, but Yo's return hit the net anyway. Get to Ryan, it's all the way, but slammed. I'm just dropped over. In fact, thought for a second it had dropped back her own side of the net, but it's another winning point as Sonia Chia looks back at her coaching staff. 18-15 now. Gap has narrowed. Scream of almost delight there from Chia having lost four points in a row that that one had landed in. And he was right on the line again. She's been getting a little bit frustrated with herself over the last few minutes. Now she's within two points of taking the opening game. That's a great smash. Had to reach for that one. And Yo unable to return. So four game points to Sonia Chia. Had to stretch a long way over her head to get that one. Really good shot. And Yo just unable to get across and get that one up and over. Right, it's a simple winner for Yo, but she didn't take it, unfortunately. It should have been a simple winner. So 21. 16. Malaysia take the first game. Sat up nice. It was coming down for the smash, but that little drop shot over the net didn't quite come off for Yo. Chia had anticipated which way she was going but in the end the shuttle hit the net and Malaysia take the opening game Yoji Amin didn't win either of her singles matches in the team event. She was beaten by Nguyen Toy Lin. 
for Vietnam in the opening match. But her fellow teammates managed to turn that one around for a 3-1 win to put them into the semi-finals. Semi-final said earlier on she was beaten by Busan from Thailand. Thailand beating Malaysia in that final to take the gold medal. Second game then. Best of three, don't forget to take the match. Sonia Chia to serve first. A good start from Singapore in this second game. Three Liverpool ready. Oh, good rally and a good winner from Chia to take her first point of the game. Waited a moment before coming up with that winning smash. Very similar to the winner that she came up with in the last game. Reaching back. A good shot from Yo again, forcing Cheer into the net, and that angle drop shot just dropping out. Very good play by the Singaporean, making her opponent work. Won the Dutch Junior Open earlier this year, Jia Yomin, where she was top seed. The following week went on to be runner-up in the German Junior, beaten by Harari Mizuyu from Japan in the final. Very highly rated. Good winner again from Chia. Oh. You know, just falling into the trap sometimes of that slightly high service return, which again sets up the winning smash perfectly for the Malaysian. But then equally, she does things like that. Great smash of her own from Yo.
Singapore leading 5-4 in the second game trailing by a game to love Good aggressive shot from Yo. 7-5 Seven, she leads in the second game. Shannon Flashy, she's got the ability to cause cheer a few problems. It's a slight misjudgment there. I think she thought that was about to drop out, but just left it and it was quite well in in the end so we're back to a tied game at 7 all ambition is to be world number one one day Sonia Chia six years she's been a member of the Malaysian national team wasn't part of the women's team in Singapore 2015 silver medal on that occasion for Malaysia That's the best rally of the game so far. Cheer with the error into the net. And Singapore just maintaining their slight lead at the moment. It's a very, very good game though. 21-16, Sonia Cheer took the first game. Yu Jimin has to win this one to take us to a third. that one up really well I think Chia thought she might have got a winner there but Yo with a great little drop shot back over the net and then again a slight misjudgment from Sonia Chia so halfway point of game two Singapore with an 11-8 lead
Yo Chi Minh, who will be playing in the Vietnam Open next week in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Tournament, I'm sure if she feels she has a good performance here, she can go on and do well. Continue her rise up the world rankings. She were to win this, you know, Jim, it would be a 100th win in singles competition. Bit of a landmark for the 18 year old. One way to go, though. Still got a nose in front in the second game. Needs to just focus on what she's been doing throughout. She's certainly making cheer move around the court. Oh, another good smash. Every point cheer loses, she looks back at her coach. He's almost in desperation as to say, I'm not sure what I'm doing at times. Well, Jia Min certainly knows what she's doing. Edging closer maybe to a winning game too. She leads 12-9 and has the serve back once again. Didn't hold it for long though. That's just out. 13, 11. Oh, sorry. 13, 10. So back to a two-point match. That's another good rally. And they just couldn't get back to get a racket around the shuttle to put Cheer under some pressure with a return. A couple of great smashes in there and Cheer unmoved. Just using the pace to get the shuttle back over.
Well, not much you could do there straight in at the body and sets up a, a fairly simple winner for Sonia Chia. I think she realised as soon as she set that one up for the smash that she'd put herself under a little bit of pressure there, Yo. 15 all. But once again, Singapore managed to edge in front. Didn't quite get up and over. Just out from Chip. So Singapore need four more points to take us into a deciding game. I have to say she deserves that chance, Yo Jim in. She's played well in parts. Helped by some unforced errors from her opponent. There's another one. 18-16 now. The number four seed not having things their own way at the moment. Oh, I just lost that one completely, Yo. Don't forget there has to be a margin of two, so we would go on if it reaches... 20 all. Good support as you can hear from Singapore in the badminton. That's a great shot. Yo drawing cheer into the net and then giving that lob that just dropped inside the baseline. 19-17. There's that little angle drop shot again. Oh, good winner. Didn't seem to be any pace on that at all, but Yo was so far back in the court, she couldn't quite make up the ground. Malaysia back to within a point. Can Singapore take us to a third game? That's a mistake. First smash returns, second smash hits the net from Yo, so 19 all.
Oh, good winner. She manages just to get that one over Chia, and she has a match point. It's almost a sense of relief on her face, but no, she, I mean, won't give this one up without a fight. It's been a marvellous performance by the 18-year-old, a real battling performance against the number four seed. Not for the first time she hits the deck, but able to celebrate winning a point this time. And a point to put herself into the quarterfinals where she'll play either Kerpe Sharavi from Cambodia or Nguyen Toy Lin from Vietnam. And she can't close it out though. So Yo still has a chance. Serve back with Singapore. That's just in, so it's another match point. Second match point for Chia. Yo needs to dig deep once again. landing inside the baseline yeah. well, this time she does close out the match but what a battle from Yoshi Amin she came mighty mighty close to causing an upset even though she didn't win a game she took the first one 20 to 2016 and 22 20 in the second it was all about margins really and just a couple of those unforced errors take them out of the game and she would have taken us to a decider but not to be as the number four seed makes it safely through Sonia Chia from the host nation Malaysia is into the quarterfinals you know, Jim in will live to fight another day as she continues her climb up the world rankings there's the winning smash Chia takes it by two games to love, 21-16, 22-10. So first match of the day, we've got doubles up next. Carlos Antoine Cayenan and Philip Jope Esqueta from Philippines taking on Duc Phat Le and Quoc Viet Tran from Vietnam. Confirmation of the score then in the women's singles and Sonia Chia will have a quarter-final. Ranked 79th in the world. Taking on the world number 22, Porn Pui from Thailand. So it will be Thailand and Chokhi Wong to serve first.
Good Ernie Willer from Thailand. One loss. Saw Yeo Jia Min knocked out a little earlier on from Singapore against Sonia Chia. 21-16, 22-20. It was a brave fight by the 18-year-old. That's just dropped in. So Thailand straight away into a two love lead. First point on the board then from Singapore. Service changes with the winning of every point, of course. So the first chance we get to see Chua serving. Chucky Wong was part of the gold medal winning team te team Beat team. One. That makes sense. Beat Malaysia in the final. Yeah. Chua was in the bronze medal Singapore team that lost out to Thailand in that semi-final three love. So 6-1 Thailand lead. Good early start here for Chucky Wong. That's just dropped in. Just slight misjudgment there from Chua. 19 years of age, the lady from Thailand. Gold medal in the team event was her first gold. Won a silver at the World Junior Championships last year and the Asian Junior Championships two years ago. Certainly one of the hot tips for a medal here in the singles. So Chua will have to be at her best, but at the moment she's not quite getting up to the standard her opponent showing. just out that time so Singapore get their second point on the board yeah, quite well out in the end long again from Thailand so serve stays with Singapore A little bit of a mini comeback now from Singapore. 
Chiu trying to get herself back into it. Nine, Didn't last too long though. She's gone out in the first round of four of her last five tournaments. Stewart. Ah. Only ring of late came against Crystal Pan from Malaysia in the four. first round of the Sudarum Cup. 21-16, 21-16, but Apart from that, it's been pretty lean for over the last few weeks. And she's struggling to get going here, almost at the halfway point of the first game. A simple win up. Court open by Chua. So 11 4 at the halfway point. So Thailand needing five points to claim the opening game. Grace Chua just taking a, a moment to compose herself. That's a good winner. And we'll give her a little bit of confidence. Seven, Not been too much to smile about in this opening game for Singapore, but that was a better shot. Set it up a little for uh, Chong Huang. Just out. So a little bit of a mini comeback here for Chua. Still a long way to go to catch your opponent, but adding a little bit more respectability to the score. That's a great smash. Plenty of height on that one for Chucky Wong. So 18 8. Just out again and Chua greeting every point, win with a fist pump. Eight. 
Martin. Just said again from Chucky Wong. So two of the four seeds coming from Thailand in the women's singles. On Bamrung Pan is the number one seed. Fitriani Fitriani from Indonesia, the second seed. Chuck Yurong here, seeded three. And Sonia Chia from Malaysia, who we saw earlier beating Yo Jia Min from Singapore. She is the fourth seed. Well judged by Chua. Service too long. Have you saw 11, 19. Oh. Just out from Chua, so it is match point, 20, sorry, game point to game Thailand. And there it is, the winner. So 21-11. Chuck Yuong takes the opening game. Go to Wong. One for me. 21-11. Got a good angle on that smash. Chu did well to get the first one back, but not the second. It just creeps inside the sideline. So lots to do now for the Singaporean if she's to remain in the competition. Really getting momentum going in that game. A couple of times she managed to win two points in a row, but nothing's to really put Chunky Wong under pressure. Tai Chunky Wong will progress to the quarterfinals. That's a good start, early point. one love. Have you saw one hour? Just a brief lead for Singapore, who now trail 3-1.
Chavisova, two, five. Well, just shot for a shot. Can't back it up by winning another, though. She trails 6 2 now. Showing no mercy at the moment, Chucky Wong realizes the Singaporean is very much on the back foot. She needs to just try and attack a little bit more if she can. That one's wide, so serve goes back to Chua. Just wide again from Chua, so Chucky One goes into a nine three lead now. That's good. Chua gives a wry smile. She thought that was dropping out, but the line judge is calling it in. So she will see it from this angle. I'll certainly see it from this one. Yep, hit the line. So slightly misjudged by, by the Singaporean. Almost at the halfway point of game two. Oh, good winner. 11, three, good play by Chucky ball. Wong. Working that one along the net and really asking questions of the Singaporean. Great return there. Did the same again, that little drop shot and couldn't quite get a racket underneath to flick that one back over the net. It was a very good angled backhand. Brilliant return that first one, but Asking too much for her to do it again. What one twenty second? What one twenty second? Okay, good.
Just a reminder of the other oh, Singapore interest in the badminton. He Yong Kai Terry and Lo Keen Heen are in the doubles along with Li Jian Yang and Ji Wong. 11, three, play. Women's doubles. Grace Chua will be partnered by Kokosara on Ring Ni and Wang Ji Ning Crystal are also in the women's doubles. 12, three. Twelve three Thailand lead. Heavy Soma four twelve. Heavy Soma. 13-4. Another simple winner there for Chucky Wong. 14-4. Oh, great smash. Worked Chua to the back of the court there, Chucky Wong, and then he really left a, a simple smash winner. Chua struggling to get back into position. So a fifth point won by Singapore in the second game. Just a slight misjudgment there by Chucky Wong. Cho wins another point. Savisova, 17-6. Yep, right on the line. Oh, great shot. One of the longest rallies we've seen so far. Didn't look as though Chucky Wong had got enough power on that to be a winner, but Chua was just going backwards and couldn't quite adjust her momentum. It's almost a miss hit from Chucky Wong, if nothing else. Did her best. Couldn't get the racket underneath, though.
Just uh, that time from Chucky Wong. Long way behind though, Singapore needs a miracle. Grace Chua to get back into this. Over 19 7. Over 8, so a little bit of respite maybe for Singapore just delaying perhaps the inevitable at the moment. That's a great smash. Just caught Chucky Wong slightly flat footed with that one. Wasn't too mobile the time that time. Rock back on her heels. Into double figures then for Chua. Managed 11 points in the last game. So the net return sets up match point for Chucky Wong and the number three seed chance to move into the quarterfinals. So it just creeps over the net and Thailand will take it 21-10 in the second match so a two-love win for the number three seed, Paul Pui Chucky Wong. Brave effort from Grace Chua, but she was always second best on the day. And both Singapore girls are out of the singles, unfortunately. Match one by. But the seeds safely oh, through. Sonia Cheer a little bit earlier on the number four seed, and now Chucky Wong booking her place in the quarterfinals, where she'll play the winner of the match between Pung Mala from Lao or Barredo from the Philippines. Confirmation of the score then in the women's singles. Grace Chua goes out, beaten 21-11, 21-10 by Chok Wong from Thailand. Sound checking one, two, three, four from Kuala Lumpur for the 29th Southeast Asian Games. Bukit Jalil Aquatic Center is the final day for swimming competition. Okay, thank you.